Uh, speaking of Elon and Vivek, I wasn't even planning on that, but here we go. Uh, we'll cut funding for progressive groups like Planned Parenthood. So early on in the podcast, I said, hey, I got some stuff here for the gush. <laughs> By the way, look, Trump is thinning down, you guys. God, he's looking good. He's looking good. Right? Look at his belly's really gone. He's kind of starting to look like filled in. Like, I don't know if he's working out or what. The jaw's getting more chiseled. He's hitting the tanning bed. Good for you, Mr. President. Good for you. Okay. Well, Elon Musk and Vivek Ramos, he probably saw all those like uh, cards that he's selling. You know what I mean? That makes him look like a superhero. And there's everybody, everybody has him as ripped and he looks good. He's like, I, I can do it. <laughs> I'm going to make me strong again. They're, so they're uh, going to check out the overspending. And while skepticism questions how much federal spending Doge can tame through uh, executive action alone, Ramaswamy and Musk wrote in a joint Wall Street Journal op-ed, they point to the 1974 uh, Impoundment Control Act. I've never even heard of that which stops the president from seizing expenditures authorized by Congress. Mr. Trump has previously suggested this statute is unconstitutional, and we believe the current Supreme Court would likely side with him on this question. But even without relying on that view, they added Doge will help end federal overspending by taking aim at $500 billion plus its annual federal expenditures that are unauthorized by Congress or being used in ways that Congress never intended from $535 million a year in the corporation, basically, basically public broadcasting. And we covered this before, 1.5 billion for grants to international organizations and nearly 300 million to pro progressive groups like Planned Parenthood. And good, start slashing everything. If they want money, people can donate. Do you know what I mean? People can donate. Now Planned Parenthood boasts of being the nation's largest abortion provider. They performed almost 400,000 abortions in a year. It is less known, that's according to an annual report, by the way, almost 400 people they killed. Oh, sorry, whoa, wow, let me pause. 400,000 people they killed. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Uh, it is less known for its gender-affirming services. 45 Planned Parenthood affiliates across the United States offer hormone therapy in 2022. The Daily Wire has previously reported on how Planned Parenthood helped an 18-year-old girl obtain a testosterone treatment to begin an attempted gender transition after a brief visit to a Chicago area planned parenthood facility. Now, I don't know if you guys recall, this is a, wow, this is really a, a callback. A couple of years ago, we used to talk a lot about this stuff of what they were doing on these campuses. And uh, they were putting Planned Parenthood on these high school campuses and uh, basically trying to do this gender affirming care without parental consent. Uh, really crazy stuff going on. Now, Planned Parenthood reports $2.3 billion in the assets in its first annual report, as well as $670 million in governmental funding. So they're going to start cutting that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uh, keep it tame. Keep it tame. Now, Musk has some drama with Bezos. So if you recall, Musk had some uh, allegedly gotten a toughie at Mar-a-Lago with uh, one of Trump's people. And he's like, that guy's a mole, Trump. That guy's a mole. Molly, 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 molly. It's a guacamole. You guys remember that from Austin Powers? Molly, 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 molly. Well, allegations said that wasn't true, but Elon Musk is like sticking up hardcore for Donald Trump. Now, in another battle of billionaires with American founder uh, Jeff Bezos for Amazon, denying a politically charged allegation shared by tech executive Elon Musk. Overnight, Musk posted to social media X platform about hearing that Bezos have been telling people that President-elect Donald Trump would lose the 2024 election. Just learned tonight at Mar-a-Lago that Bezos was telling everyone that Trump would lose for sure, so they should sell all their Tesla and SpaceX stock. Musk, Musk who endorsed Donald Trump on the campaign trail, and is now slated to head the Doge. Bezos shot back in a reply on Thursday morning saying, nope, 100% not true. The denial was the latest salvo in the longstanding rivalry that rages ranges from a competition between their space companies to Musk uh, dissing Amazon's Lord of the Rings series. Uh, my buddy's like a hardcore Lord of the Rings fan. He said, that's just the series sucks. It's not good. It's really, really bad. So that's the latest uh, snafu between the two. Now, who knows? It's all hearsay, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe Musk can see Bezos tweets or something. I don't know. <laughs> and not sure.